welcome back everyone, Patrick here. In this video, we got to write an equation for each of these four scenarios here. So these are going to be exponential scenarios and we know so far we've been dealing with this formula that final amount is equal to an initial amount 1 plus r to the power of t, number of periods. Now usually scenarios that you are given they're going to say that something is happening every year or every month. But sometimes you're going to get scenarios that say something like this. So the first scenario says 100 milligrams of bacteria doubles every five hours. So it's not saying every hour, it's saying every five hours. And when you see something like this, there's multiple ways to make these kind of equations, but usually what you want to do is you actually want to manipulate this exponent. Right? So notice it's not saying every hour, it's saying every five hours, or every three hours, every 15 years, every 50 days. Right? It's not per day, per year, per hour, or per hour. Right? It's a certain number. And when you see a number like that, basically what you do, so for the first one, we would say the final amount, let's call it A, is equal to the initial amount. 100 milligrams of bacteria, it's doubling every five hours. So we know that if it's doubling, this is going to be two, right? If it's doubling, then its rate of growth is 100%. 100% in decimals is just one, and one plus one gives us two. But since it says every five hours here, we would put the T over five, if we want the T value to represent the number of hours. Now, if we let t be the number of five hour periods, then we would just put a single exponent here, t, right? Because a t value of one would represent five hours. A t value of two would represent 10 hours. But if we let t equal the number of hours, then we got to divide it by whatever that scenario tells us in that part there, right? So it'd be t over five, meaning that once you get to five hours, for example, the t value would be five, so five over five is one, right? And then two to the power of one is just two. So we're doubling that 100 by multiplying it by two to get 200. Or when we get to 10 hours, if t is 10, 10 divided by five is two, two to the power of two is four, keep doubling it every five hours, right? So if t is the number of hours, then we gotta divide that exponent by Five. Hopefully that makes sense. Perhaps not the best explanation, but hopefully you kind of get where I'm going. So here in the second scenario, we're told that 100 milligrams of bacteria has a half-life of three hours. So final amount is going to be the initial amount, 100. Now if it has a half-life of three hours, it means it's decaying. It means it's decaying by 50% every three hours, right? So a decay rate is negative, and then 50% is um, negative 0.5 in decimals. So one minus 0.5 gives us 0 0.5. So this is gonna be a half here, 0 0.5, or we could just put a half as a fraction. And then it has a half-life every three hours, so we would put the t value over three. Again, if we let t equal the number of hours. If we let t be the number of three-hour periods, we would just put an exponent t. But usually we're going to let t be whatever that unit of time is. It's the number of hours, so we got to put it over three if the half-life is three hours. Third scenario, 100,000 triples say 100,000 uh, milligrams here. 100,000 milligrams triples every 15 years. So here, final amount would be the 100,000. It's tripling every 15 years. So this would be T over 50. So T is equal to the number of years in this case. Right, and then number four, we got 200 milligrams of bacteria decays 80% every 50 days. So decays 80%, loses 80% of its value every 50 days. 
So we know A is going to be what? The initial value, 200. And this is going to be 1 minus 0 0.8, right? 1 minus that decay rate of 80% in decimals. 1 minus 0.8 just gives us 0.2. We just write 0.2 here, and this is happening every 50 days. So this would be t over 50 if we let t equal the number of days. If we let t be the number of 50-day periods, it would just be an exponent t. But since we're letting it be the number of days, it'd be t over 50. Right, so just be careful with these types of questions where it says every five hours or three hours or every 15 years or every 50 days. Usually you're gonna have to manipulate the exponent if you want to let the variable be that unit of time that you are working with, right? If it says every hour or uh, every year or every day, every month, then you're just dealing with this basic formula and usually that t value is just going to stay as is in the exponent. When you're dealing with these sort of scenarios, you're usually gonna to have to manipulate that exponent, right? So just be on the lookout for those types of questions.